let F be a field and MNF be the set of all n by n matrices or F. Namely, each entry is taken from this field F. Let's group F be a subset of MNF consisting of diagonalizable matrices. By this we mean for any matrix A in MNF there exists an invertible matrix S so this notation means the set of invertible n by n matrices over F that possibly depends on A such that S of A inverse times A times S of A is a diagonal matrix. The theorem of simultaneous diagonalization states that This family F is a commuting family, namely AB is equal to BA for any A, B in F. If and only if F is a simultaneous diagonalizable family. By this we mean there is a single S that is invertible such that S inverse AS is diagonal for all A in F. Namely, this S does not depend on the specific choice of A in F, which is different, which is different from the notion of the matrix to be diagonalizable. Before we move on to the proof, let me leave a quick remark. The set of all diagonalizable matrices is not a simultaneous diagonalizable family. Namely, you cannot simultaneously diagonalize all the diagonalizable matrices over a given field F. Do you see why? The reason is simple. You just look at two simple matrices. One is 1, 0, 0, 0. And another is 1, 1, 0, 0. You just look at these two matrices. They are both diagonalizable. The first one is already a diagonal matrix, so it is trivially diagonalizable. The second one is diagonalizable because it has two distinct eigenvalues, 1 and 0. Or you can check this guy is diagonalizable in a brutal way. Say, you're going to conjugate this matrix But this guy, 1, negative 1, 0, 1. The inverse of this is 1, 1, 0, 1. And the computation result is 1, 0, 0, 0. 
which is the diagonal matrix. But they are not simultaneously diagonalizable. Namely, you cannot find just one invertible matrix that diagonalizes both of them simultaneously. That is because of this theorem. Those two matrices do not commute with each other, so they do not form a commuting family. As a result by this theorem, they do not form a simultaneous diagonalizable family. So this remark tells us that a simultaneous diagonalizable family must be a proper subset of the set of all diagonalizable matrices. Remember in basic linear algebra, the similarity of matrices can also be described in terms of the change of basis for a linear operator. So, now let us translate the theorem in terms of linear operators and basis, which might be more frequently used in further applications. So now we give the translation of the theorem to the setting of linear operators and change of basis. Let f still be a field and v be a finite dimensional vector space over f. And let and v over f be the set of linear operators from v to v over the field f. And let script f be a subset of this linear transformations on V be a family of diagonalizable operators. Namely, for each F in script F, there exists a basis say epsilon 1 through epsilon n of, of v where n is the dimension of v such that each basis vector is an eigenvector is an eigenvector of f. So f applied to epsilon i is equal to some lumps by times epsilon sub i. For i greater than 1, less than equal to n. Then the script f is a commuting family, namely, any two linear operators in script F will commute with each other. F is a commuting family if and only if F is a simultaneous diagonalizable family. By simultaneous diagonalizable family, we mean there is a single basis. So previously, this basis may depend on the choice of F. Now, 
by saying f is a simultaneous diagonalizable family, we mean that there is a single basis epsilon 1 through epsilon n of v such that for any f in script f f of epsilon i is equal to some lambda i times epsilon i for any i equal to equal to 1 less than or equal to n namely each vector in the spaces is an eigenvector of f so this is a translation of the theorem in terms of linear operators and bases and you can also translate this back to the setting of matrices and conjugations because a linear operator and a basis has a matrix form and this diagonalization can be expressed in terms of the conjugation of matrix giving you a diagonal matrix